in the event your slide room will not retract, here's what you need to do. For an electronic manual override, you're going to need to find the circuit board, often located in the basement. Press the mode button six times quickly, then press it a seventh time, hold it for approximately five seconds. Wait for the red and green lights to flash, then let go of the button. Go back to your control panel and see if you can bring the room back in. If that does not work, you're going to need to do this yourself. On the control board, unplug both motors. Now, you can move the room in the direction you need. For bigger walls, you are going to need to bring in reinforcements. When pushing the wall, keep both sides even. When the wall is in, plug both motors back into the control board. This applies the brake for the motors and will keep the room locked in position while you are on the road. In the event you are unsuccessful pushing the wall in, here's what you need to do. On the outside, at the top of the slide wall, you are going to see two pan head screws. Take these screws out. Lift each motor up a half inch or so, then put the screws back in. Doing this disengages the gears. This will make the wall easier to push back in. On the inside of the coach, if you have a slide lock, lock it in place on top of the slide room. If not, something like a 2x4 can also act as a brake. If you run into issues and you want to know exactly what's going on, check the controller for error codes. Here's what these lights mean. For a fault specific to the motor, the green LED will flash once for motor 1 and twice for motor 2. The red LED will flash anywhere from 2 to 9 times depending on the error code. Here's how to decipher the number of flashes. Two flashes means battery dropout. That means the battery capacity is low enough to drop below 6 volts while running. Three flashes, a low battery. Voltage is below 8 volts at the start of the cycle. Four, high battery, meaning your voltage is greater than 18 volts. Five flashes is an excessive motor current. This means high amperage, which is also indicated by one side of the slide continually stalling. Six flashes is a motor short circuit. The motor or wiring to the motor has shorted out. Eight flashes signifies a hall signal not present. That means your encoder is not providing a signal, usually a wiring problem in this case. Nine flashes is a hall power short to ground. The power to the encoder has been shorted to the ground, which is usually a wiring problem. When you have an error code, you need to reset the board. To do that, press the extend retract buttons twice. Once to reset, another to return to normal use. If you are unable to correct the problem or you simply do not feel comfortable troubleshooting, please contact your Thor Motor Coach dealer.